The NFL Draft is always so exciting. A lot of the talk this year revolved around the quarterbacks because we knew they were going to be the first three picks and five of the first 15. But what I don't think should go overlooked is the defensive players that are going to make an instant impact on their teams in their rookie seasons. After accounting for the talent of the players, their situations, and their positions, I'm going to make a case for my way too early Defensive Rookie Player of the Year. I won't keep you waiting, but probably from the thumbnail and the video and the highlights you've seen so far, you know we're talking about Quiddy Pay. The edge rusher from Michigan was selected 21st overall to the Indianapolis Colts, and I think he is in perfect position to have an absolute monster season for a few reasons. The first reason is who he is as a player and a football talent. The biggest thing I have to say about his game is he's just a disruptor. He plays 100 miles an hour, and although early on this was a negative to his game because he could be caught playing out of control, he has made obvious improvements in technique and football IQ, and we see this with all the tackles he was getting in the backfield in college. And now, after some years, he's a high-motored, ultra aggressive defensive lineman who's getting the hang of the fundamentals and I don't think he's near his peak at all yet and that's terrifying because I already think he's the best edge rusher in this entire draft class. To be more specific what I think he's good at, he has an ultra explosive first step so he absolutely has the ability to get the edge if the tackle takes a bad angle or is just a step too late. He also has very choppy hands and is good at keeping defenders away from his body so he's able to react, change his line, widen his range of moves that he can pull off. And what he did at college College was just incredible. It was just unfair. In high school, he was Rhode Island's player of the year. For his defense, yes, but he was also a very talented running back. In some plays when I was watching his film, it looked like he was a running back, finding that narrow hole to run through, being patient, using side shuffle steps, change of direction, almost like juke moves to get past the lineman, almost untouched. His athleticism paired with his 260 pound frame makes him an absolute freak of nature. He's only 6'2", but to me this plays to an advantage coming off the ball low because he is not lacking any strength I promise you and at first I thought he was really fast but before looking up his 40 time I like to watch the film and see who I think he's as fast as compared to other people in his position and I was guessing he ran a 465 which is exactly what Chase Young ran well, he's even faster than I thought. He ran a 45740, has a 35 and a half inch vertical, and benched 36 reps of 225. So if you didn't believe me that he's a freak athlete, I hope this confirms it. But I want to talk about some other things that aren't related to his game as to why I think he's going to be Defensive Rookie of the Year. The first is his work ethic. He has an incredible story being an immigrant from Iberia, grew up in refugee camps before coming to America. He knows what it's like to have nothing, and he worked for everything he's ever gotten. The dedication dedication and improvement he's shown year to year is so inspiring not only makes you root for him but it gives you all the reason to believe that he's going to keep relentlessly working to keep getting better and improve he reminds me a lot of Giannis in the NBA someone with a ton of natural ability they both immigrated to the U.S. and they were in situations where they couldn't rub two pennies together but their drive is second to none and the next thing I want to bring up is he's in the perfect situation to win this award if we follow the money it becomes very clear what positions are most important in football obviously we have quarterbacks in position at number one getting paid the most, but then we have the edge rushers, and then we have the left tackle on the offensive line. So arguably the second most important position in football, it is key to have elite talent here. And if we look at the last two winners of this award, they were both defensive ends in Nick Bosa and Chase Young. And following the formula that they set, looking at the situations they're in, because they both got drafted to very good defensive teams. So you might be thinking, isn't it harder to stand out being on a good defensive team? And while that might be true, it also gives players a decided advantage. Chase Young joined a Washington defensive line that made him the fifth first round draft pick. This is almost unheard of, but the same almost goes for Nick Bosa because he also joined a very good defensive line for the Niners. There are only so many guys you can block and when the offense has to worry about DeForest Buckner, Darius Leonard, and Justin Houston coming at you, it becomes very clear that Quiddy Pay won't be facing many double teams like he would if he was the only elite pass rusher on the roster. He's going to have favorable matchups with lesser offensive linemen and more than likely the double teams, tight end chips, and running back support will have to be focused on DeForest Buckner and blitzing linebackers. The same thing goes with corners and receivers too. We see teams with two good corners get a lot more picks because the quarterback has to throw it somewhere, whereas if you're the only lockdown corner on the team, they will remain quiet because they won't get targeted all that often. And the Chiefs have great receivers all over the field, so having Tyreek and Kelsey, they actually help each other. Tyreek requires extra attention, so Kelsey gets more favorable matchups and less double teams, and vice versa. Quiddy 
Pei is a special talent, and for all the reasons I mentioned earlier, he's going to get great coaching, and with his work ethic, he's only going to improve throughout the season and as the years go on and on. He's also going to benefit from playing on a team where he won't get most of the attention or the most respect from the offense. And for all these reasons, this is why Quiddy Pei is my way too early defensive rookie of the year candidate. But I want to know who you guys think it's going to be. Do you think it's going to be Quiddy Pay or do you think it's going to be someone else? I know there's a lot of good defenders players in this draft, but I think just the situation he is especially put him over the top in this case. And I think he's about to have a monster season with the Colts. But let me know what you think. I want to know down in the comments. Make sure to like this video if you like videos like these. And make sure to subscribe if you enjoy daily sports content. I'm always up for recommendations. And if you're still around for this video, let me know down in the comments because I'm thinking about start live streaming. I want to start live streaming like once or twice a week. I want to get to connect with you guys better. I want to answer you guys questions live. You get to talk about your favorite team, your favorite players. We can talk about NBA playoffs if you want to. Anything, I'm down. Give me your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you tomorrow. Peace.